everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. It's Five Ways Wednesday, and today I am doing something a little different for Five Ways Wednesday, which I feel like I just have to stop saying that because now I think Five Ways Wednesday is taking on a little bit of a new form. Um, I've packed up a whole lot of bags five different ways, and you guys have always enjoyed that, but I'm noticing that I get more and more requests to see comparisons of bags side by side rather than packing one bag up five different ways. And I get a lot of questions about tote style bags, and I think that's because Everyone is drawn to backpack style backpacks because of the ease and the convenience, but people are also starting to realize that tote style bags can pack a lot better than a backpack style bag because they open up a little bit easier, you can see everything a little bit better, and so people have a lot of curiosity about these tote style bags and whether or not one would work for them. So what I've done today is I have pulled five diaper bags that we carry at the Sensible Mama, Pause. I have pulled four bags that we carry at the Sensible Mama, plus one Lily Jade bag. So I will put links down to each one of these bags in the description box below if you want to shop with us. It would be much appreciated. And then when I'm all done going over all the different features, I'm going to take each bag and set it down here close up and put every bag next to it so that you can see how each bag kind of compares in terms of size because I get a lot of requests for that kind of video. So what I have here today is the Jujube Ever Collection Tote. I have the newly Lily Tote, the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat, the 12 Little Carry Love, and the Lily Jade Megan. So if you're interested in seeing how all of these bags stack up compared to one another, keep on watching. I'm gonna get started with the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat Tote. This is probably one of my favorite totes ever made. I don't use it as much anymore just because I've been experimenting with other tote style bags, but this one is kind of just a um, bread and butter tried and true bag for me because it packs so well and you can fit so much in it. One of the reasons why I love it so much is that you can pouch pack or not pouch pack and it packs really well both ways. So this bag really really packs a punch despite its small size. This one is quite a bit shorter than the other tote style bags that I'm going to show you and I will show you the side by side a little bit later. So let's first talk about the external uh, features and organization of this bag. The Triple Threat comes with uh, removable tote straps, and I think that is a really, really smart feature. These tote straps just unsnap right here and you can remove them. And the reason why that is a feature on this bag is because this bag does come with backpack straps. So if you're looking for a tote that you can also go backpack style with, this is one of those bags. Um, and sometimes it is really nice to get these straps out of the way if you're going backpack style. Personally, I leave the straps on because I tend to go back and forth between both modes, but it is really nice to know that you can take these straps off when you need to. Now, I will say this is not my favorite bag in backpack mode, and I kind of feel the same way about my Lily Jade Megan. I just think bags that are designed to be tote style don't naturally go on the back very well. This one feels a little uncomfortable on my back at times, depending on how I have it packed, and I don't think that the backpack straps are necessarily the the best designed. I just, I don't love it in backpack mode, although I do use it that way. It's just not my favorite. The way that you go backpack mode is using the included straps. Here's one that I have attached here. You have one that serves as a dedicated backpack strap, and you have a second one that serves as your second backpack strap or your messenger strap if you wanna use this crossbody or over the shoulder. So that's one thing that does make this bag really interesting is that you can go grab handle or tote style, you can go messenger strap style or crossbody, and you can go backpack style with this bag, which I think is a really big plus. Another big plus is that the bag comes with its own stroller clips, and although you might think, oh my gosh, those are fabric, how can they be, uh, tough and durable. They absolutely are. I just always leave these attached to my triple threat and that way, whether I need to hang this from a stroller or a chair that I'm sitting on or a shopping cart, I can do that. I don't ever have to wonder if I have stroller clips with me. On the front here, you have two magnetic closure pockets. It's a really strong magnet. Um, I won't say it's the strongest, like it definitely will open up if you have this overstuffed. Um, but it is a nice strong magnet. You don't have to worry about it just coming open on a normal day. This is a great place for putting keys, um, your phone, lipstick, and things like that. But obviously, if you're looking for a really, really spacious, roomy mommy pocket like you would get in maybe like the Jujube Be Right Back, you don't have that here. You do have two insulated bottle pockets on either side, and probably my favorite thing about these bottle pockets is that they are very stretchy and they give really well. And to give you a peek down in there, you do have that foiled insulated pocket so that you know your cold drinks are gonna stay cold. I generally find that with this bag, you can use the internal bottle pockets, which I'll show you in a minute, and the external bottle pockets, and they both 
work at the same time. And if you've ever used a diaper bag, you know what I'm talking about, where you use the internal pockets and then you try to use the external pocket and you, you can't get into it. This bag is not like that. Because these are so nice and stretchy, you just have plenty of room to fit even the biggest bottles, which is fantastic. You don't have any external organization on the back, so even the change pad is stored on the inside of this bag. Now, one of my favorite things about all of the Itsy Ritzy bags is this rubberized bottom. I will say this isn't everyone's favorite, and that's because the rubberized bottom does make the bag a little bit heavier. Um, but me personally, just having been used to carrying heavy things for a while now, this doesn't bother me, and I really appreciate knowing that I can set this bag down in any kind of environment and the bottom of my bag is not going to get ruined. In terms of comfort, I already talked about the backpack straps being not super comfortable. These rolled handles here are very comfortable to me. And one thing that I have found is really cool is that when I wear this, I tend to put one rolled um, handle over my shoulder and then take the second one and put it over top of that one and it locks the bag into place. I cannot stand it when a bag is slipping off of my shoulder. And because these are rolled, when I cross them over that way, it stops that shoulder slippage. As you can see, it fits super comfortably under the arm. I'm five foot five, about 130 pounds, and this just feels so good and comfortable under my arm. And I feel like it's just the right size for someone who's on the shorter to average size height like me. Now we'll take a look at the inside of the bag, which like I said, is one of my favorites. Here we have the inside of the bag. The first thing you'll notice about this bag is that you can look right down into here and see everything. And that's absolutely one of my favorite things about all the tote bags that I'm gonna show you today. The benefit of the tote style bag is that you have the ability to look down into your bag and see everything that's inside of it. And um, when you're in a hurry and you really need to get something out of your bag quickly for your baby, that is a big deal. The internal organization in this bag is probably one of my favorite because it's so smartly designed. You can tell that a mom designed this who really understands what you have to get to inside of a diaper bag. So back here, we have a magnetic closure pocket, which is where the um, change pad usually goes. That's how you'll get the bag with the change pad in there. And then you also have two big stretchy pockets in front of that. These are big enough to hold a large jujube set piece here and a medium jujube set piece here, and they fit perfectly in there. Then on either side, you have two mesh pockets. These are not insulated, but you can still use them as bottle pockets. So you have two of those, one here and one here on the other side. And then on this side of the bag, as you can see here, you have one really long zipper pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. Um, it's a great little mommy pocket for the things that you need for yourself to kind of keep them separate from the other things in the bag. And then on this side, you also have three more stretchy pockets of various sizes to keep different sized things, which I think is really, really great. And then of course you have this whole open space here to fit just about anything you can think of. If you're a pouch packer, pouches pack really great in there. If you're not a pouch packer, you can use all of the external organization for your smaller items and then put your bigger items down in the bottom here. It is deep enough that you can pack this pretty full and still put, like I said earlier, a ring sling or a full buckle carrier or perhaps some blankets up in the top, which is also a really nice plus because I just cannot stand not having a place to put my baby carrier in my diaper bag. And this one definitely doesn't disappoint in that regard. So now that we've talked all about the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat, let's move on to the Jujube Ever Collection Tote. I will be very honest, I was skeptical about this bag when Jujube first released it. I just wasn't really sure that it was gonna be something that I would love, but I will tell you, I use this bag not just as a diaper bag, but actually more often I use it as a work bag or personal bag. It is a super professional and pretty bag. It's fully vegan leather, um, so it stays nice and light because of that, but it still has a, a pretty nice feel to it. It's definitely not soft like real leather. It's got that synthetic feel to it, but it doesn't feel as rough or just have that bad texture that sometimes vegan or faux leather can have. This bag is really designed to look super professional and although I don't think Jujube has actually come out and said this, I feel that personally they are trying to make this bag look like the bag that you carry when you wanna look like you're not carrying a diaper bag. That sentence was a mouthful. But what they did is they didn't put any bottle pockets on the outside, they didn't create a huge mommy pocket up here for you. It's something that works kind of seamlessly between your motherhood life and your womanhood life. And for someone like me who's in that stage of life, um, I think that that's really, really cool. You have these very long drop length handles. 
Um, so if you are on the taller side, this would work pretty well for you. As a person who's 5'5", five five, I feel like it hangs a little low on me. Um, I sort of prefer my bags to be a slightly bit more up in my armpit, but it's not uncomfortable by any means. I will say that I find these tote straps to fall off a little bit more often than bags that have the rolled handles do. That's just a personal thing for me. Um, and I'll also add that if you need padding, like if you have shoulder and neck pain and problems, you might not love this one just because you really don't have much padding at all on here. So that's something to note for sure. The only external organization is one big slip pocket here on the front. You also have um, a tech pocket back here. This is felt lined so you can put your phone or a little camera or anything like that that you don't want to get scratched. And then of course the bag does have D-rings here so that you can hang this on your stroller or shopping cart or anything else like that. But unlike the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat, it does not come with its own stroller clips. And that's the case for all of the bags I'm gonna show you today. Probably one of my favorite features of this bag is this top zipper. And usually I don't pay a lot of attention to these kind of features, but this is really cool to me. And I feel Jujubee was very smart with their design here. When I have this zipped up and when the bag is totally full, this zipper stays nice and taut and open like this. It keeps the bag nice and wide and it has a really pretty aesthetic. And what I mean by that is it doesn't collapse in on itself, if you know what I mean. It just stays nice and poofed out like this, which I love. But if you're the kind of person who doesn't zip up your diaper bag, and sometimes I'm that way, when you unzip this, and let me see if I can kind of catch this on camera. When you unzip it, the zipper just pops back in. Do you see that? I'm not holding it down or anything. Those zipper flaps just go flat down. And I've, I don't know that I've ever seen a bag that really does that. And to me, that is so cool. Those just fold right down. And now if I leave my bag open, I can look straight into it and see everything that I have in my bag without that flap getting in the way. And that does really bother me when that happens. We have some really great internal organization here. We do have our two insulated bottle pockets on either side. Since you don't have that external bottle pocket, this would be where you'd be keeping your kids' bottles. We have, um, just like the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat, we have one very long zipper pocket across the back, which goes basically down to the bottom of the bag. And then we also have here two big stretchy pockets on this side and then two slip pockets on this side as well. Just like the Itsy Ritsy Triple Threat, this bag I feel packs very well if you're a pouch packer or if you're not a pouch packer. However, because this bag is quite a bit taller, and that's the case for all the other bags I'm gonna show you, these are all taller than the Itsy Ritsy Triple Threat. And what that means is that I do think you will have to put some things in pouches to some extent because otherwise stuff's gonna get lost down in the bottom of this bag. So if you absolutely hate pouches, you probably wanna go with the Itsy Ritsy Triple Threat just because it is so much shorter. Um, my laptop fits in here. I, just, I think I have a 13 or 14 inch laptop. I've measured it a couple times and it comes out different because I use an app on my phone to do it. I should just get a tape measure. Um, but my laptop fits in here perfectly. It works great as a work bag and as a diaper bag. And I feel like this is just one of those bags that I'm gonna keep in my collection to use for travel or work or things like that, even well past the diaper bag years. I think I mentioned that this is a pretty light bag. Uh, again, anything that is leather or vegan leather is gonna be heavier than the microfiber bags. Just that's the nature of the, the materials used. But I'd say it's still pretty light. Um, it definitely is, it feels to me lighter than the Itsy Ritsy Triple Threat just because it doesn't have that rubberized bottom. But you do get feet here on the bottom that will keep the bag a little bit off the ground to keep that bottom safe. So next I wanna talk about the newly Lily Tote because that's one of the newest items at thesensiblemama.com and I have been loving this bag. So here we have the newly Lily and guys, this bag really, really surprised me. I did not think that I was going to like it as much as my Gale Satchel by Newly, but it's turned out that I've really loved this bag for a whole host of reasons. First of all, this is a faux leather bag that feels so much like leather that I'm not really sure the average person would be able to tell the difference. I, I really feel like if you told someone this was real leather, they'd probably believe you. It's very, very soft, very tactile, and as you can see, it's it's not got a sheen to it. It's not a shimmery leather, but it is a slightly shiny leather and it looks gorgeous in natural light and outdoor light. The bag does come with um, rolled tote straps, which I've already mentioned is my favorite. And the drop length for me is really good. I'd say this falls in between the Itsy Ritsy Triple Threat and the Jujubee Tote in terms of length. 
it fits at a really nice spot on my arm where it's not like way up in my armpit, but it's also not hanging down too low. And I really like that about this bag. I find these straps to be pretty comfortable. However, they are a little bit thinner than the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat, which means that they could cause some discomfort if the bag is really heavy. This bag also comes with a messenger strap, but I'm gonna say that's probably my one drawback about this bag. The bag does not come with D-rings on either side, which means you can't put this on your stroller. And the other thing is that although it comes with this messenger strap, the strap does not attach on the side. It attaches um, kind of crookedly, and let me show you what I mean. You attach the messenger strap to like the left front side and the right back side. Now, what that does is it creates a really pretty aesthetic on the body, so I'll show that now. When you go cross body with this, it sits really nicely because of that diagonal angle of the way the messenger strap is sitting. But I just tend to find that when you do that, the messenger strap sort of gets in your way. It sort of can be uncomfortable. And so even though it looks pretty, I'm not really sure that it's something I'm ever going to use. So frankly, I just leave the messenger strap off of this and I use this only when I'm using it tote style. The only external organization that we have is a very long zipper across the front. And I showed you this in my last Five Ways Wednesday, but because we have some gathering right here, this actually can poof out a whole lot and you can fit a ton of things in that front pocket. So I would say in terms of just storage capacity, this actually competes with the mommy pocket on a lot of the Jujube diaper bags, which is kind of hard to do. In terms of external organization, the only other thing that you have is a back pocket here, which is pretty deep. It goes just about all the way to the bottom. It's a great place to put your phone and things like that so that people can't nab it. Now, as you can see, this bag does not have external bottle pockets. It's all about the aesthetic here of making it look like a professional bag instead of a diaper bag. But just like the um, Jujube tote, you can see you've got so much space in here. Just so, so much room. It's incredible. This bag packs almost identically to the Jujube Ever Collection tote. So if you've packed up the Jujube bag before, this bag is gonna pack up almost identical to that one. Again, you do have very nice insulated bottle pockets on either side, a very big roomy change pad, as well as probably my favorite feature on all of the newly bags, which is this insulated pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom. It's a fantastic place for putting cheese or applesauce, food pouches, things like that. You could also store some ice packs and some milk that you've pumped in here if you're not gonna be out for too crazy long. And that to me really, really makes this bag stand out among the rest, simply because I've not seen a lot of bags that come with their own insulated pocket like that. I do think this is another bag that probably is gonna require some pouch packing. It just doesn't have as much internal organization as the Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat, but you still do have two slip pockets here, you have that long insulated pocket, um, and then two bottle pockets here and here. So in terms of the internal organization compartment, it's not the best. It, it definitely doesn't have everything that you need to pack without patch, pouches, but it does give you a really good start and nice, like a lot of room in there for putting anything else that you might be carrying with you. I think next what we'll talk about is the 12 Little Carry Love Tote. This is the only one I'm showing you today that is not made of either real leather or faux or vegan leather. This is a completely machine washable diaper bag and I think that is the biggest plus of all the ones that I've shown you today is that this can go in your washing machine. So if you're a new mom or you're a toddler mom and you just are having messy days, if you're potty training and you're carrying soiled clothes with you, this will be a really great option. This bag comes in this print as well as solid black and a really pretty leopard print, which is my personal favorite. Um, and that, that machine washable component is just amazing. This bag can go messenger style or tote strap style. These are very comfortable tote straps. Even though they don't feel like they have a lot of padding inside of them, they're nice and thick. And a thick strap distributes the weight of the bag further across your shoulder, which means you feel less pulling and straining on your neck and shoulders. Again, I'm 5'5", five five, and this sits in a really, really comfortable place underneath my arm. It's something that I can carry underneath there even when it's fully packed and still have a full range of motion and not feel like it's bulky or in my way. It does come with um, D-rings so that you can put this on a stroller and it comes with an included messenger strap so that you can wear this crossbody. A very cool feature of this bag in my opinion is that you have this magnetic closure front pocket. 
Um, and what's kind of neat about this is that if you have big items that you're putting in here, say you have a paper planner, you can put that in here and the magnetic closure just kind of stays open. So I like using that because I have a taller planner that I just stick right here in the front and it sticks out a little bit and I can just really easily get it in and out of there. But if you have shorter things, you can of course close this magnetic closure and it stays shut. And the magnetic closure also can create two separate slip pockets, if you will. When this is closed, you can kind of use this as a spot to keep things separated a little bit. We do have two really big insulated bottle pockets, and I think these are probably my favorite bottle pockets out of everything we've talked about today, even maybe including the triple threat. I don't know, I really like those bottle pockets too, but these are a little bit taller since the bag itself is taller, which does mean that I can put my tall swell bottles and things like that and it, the aesthetic looks a little better. If you've ever tried putting like a tall swell bottle with your Itsy Ritzy Triple Threat, you know that it sticks up kind of high. Sometimes it can look kind of strange. With this, you can put those big, tall, insulated bottles and they don't look absurd sitting in there. So you have one of those on either side, which is really, really fantastic. And that's really the extent of the um, external pockets on this bag. Now, similar to the Jujube tote, this bag also has a zip closure that folds down when it's not in use. So of course I love that. Again, that's just one of my favorite things about these totes. But I will say that this zip closure is a lot smaller than the Jujube tote. It's not as wide, which means when you have this zipped up, and I'll show you, the bag sort of takes on a skinnier look. You see how thin that is? Um, and that may be your preference. If you want a bag that's really, really skinny at the top, even when it's fully packed, you'll prefer this one because this bag naturally closes all the way up, whereas the Jujube bag kind of stays wide. So that's really gonna be kind of a personal preference thing. I feel like there's kind of a formula for internal structure in tote style diaper bags because they kind of all have the same. And I've only really noticed this now that I'm doing this video. As you can see, like the other bags, the, um, 12, the 12 Little Carry Love has a very long zip pocket across the back here. This one is quite a bit shorter than the other ones I've showed you. This only goes about halfway down the bag instead of all the way down. You also have two slip pockets in front of that. These are not stretchy pockets, so these are just, just straight up slip pockets. And then on this side here, I have the change pad and two stretchy slip pockets here and here. Now, important to note is that this bag does not have internal bottle pockets, so you only have these two insulated bottle pockets on the outside. This is a very nice deep bag, which I love using when I carry a baby carrier with me. Probably the best feature of this bag is that it is very lightweight. Compared to all of these bags, this one is the lightest, and that's because it doesn't have any leather or faux leather on it. So between being highly comfortable, highly light, and machine washable, I'd say that this bag is probably the best choice for the new moms who are just dealing with messes and maybe are still having some postpartum pain or maybe just um, recovering from a C-section. You're not gonna be wanting to carry just a really heavy bag. This would be a very, very good option. So let's go ahead and jump into the last bag, which is the Lily Jade Megan. In terms of the dedicated diaper bags from Lily Jade, I'm pretty confident that this is the biggest one. Obviously, the lifestyle slash diaper bag bags are gonna be a little bit bigger, I think, but this is, in my opinion, of the ones that I've tried and seen, the biggest. Now, you do have very long tote style straps here. These, again, I'm 5'5", five five and they hang a little low on me. I do wish that it came up a little bit higher on my body, but that's gonna be a plus for anyone who's on the taller side because this does hang down a little bit lower. This is of course full grain leather. It is absolutely beautiful, so soft to the touch. Um, so in terms of external organization, that's probably the biggest gripe that I can give about this bag is that it just doesn't have much to speak of on the outside. You do have a nice slip pocket here on the front, which I have found is really only big enough for like my phone and my keys and maybe some lip gloss. It's just not that big of a slip pocket. This front slip pocket is, is pretty nice. You can fit a phone. Um, if you have small keys, you can fit those in there. Lip gloss, um, feminine products, things like that will all fit really nicely. But again, this is a pretty small slip pocket. So if you're someone who has a lot of things that you want stored on the outside of your bag, this might not be the best choice. You do, however, um, have two pockets on the side. And now I get ripped up every time I do a Lily Jade Megan video, and there are two types of comments that I get. There are those who say, Amber, stop complaining about this not fitting your bottles. That's not meant to be a bottle pocket. To which I say, okay, sorry, <laughs> I thought it was. Um, but then on the other hand, I get a lot of comments from people who are like, you can absolutely fit bottles in there. And they send me pictures of their bottles 
in these pockets. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I guess I'm just dumb when it comes to getting bottles in here because I can't do it. But I have seen proof, I have seen pictures of these going into, um, excuse me, of bottles going into these pockets. But I do not personally use this as a bottle pocket because I find it frustrating. Um, you do get D-rings with this. Again, so you can go messenger strap style or hang this on a stroller. And the bag does come, like all the Lily Jade diaper bags, it comes with a messenger strap. Now, one of my gripes with the Lily Jade bags is that you do only get this one strap. And that means you can never have the bag going three ways. You can either have it tote style and backpack style like I have it right now, or you can remove this and you can have it tote style and messenger style, but you can't have all three unless you buy an extra strap. This bag does come with a removable insert. And I'm gonna be honest, I have removed mine. I still have it. But to be frank, I just find that this bag packs better without the insert. And I think a lot of that is because the insert is, it sort of collapses on itself. And that means that it's just, from my personal packing style, I have a hard time getting things in and out. That being said, you can find just hundreds of diaper bag reviews where people show you how they use this insert and it's beautiful and it looks so organized and great and they have no problems. So I think it comes down to a matter of personal preference. Um, but for me personally, I just prefer to use this bag without the insert and I pack with pouches instead. Now, if you take the insert out, you aren't left with a lot of internal organization, which is why I say I pack with pouches. You do have a zipper here on the front um, that goes about to my palm down. It doesn't go all the way down in the bag. And you also get a key ring. Then on the other side, I need to clean out the inside of this bag. It has been loved and used. I love this bag, but I've got some stains here. Um, on this side, you have a small slip pocket as well as a larger slip pocket. Now, like I said, the internal organization of this bag does leave a lot to be desired, but you do get this internal organizer, which does come with the bag. It comes with its own change pad as well. Um, and as you can see, this has just got tons of organization. You've got two pockets on either side, two pockets on the front and the back. And on the inside, you have two stretchy pockets on either side, a long zip pocket here, and a short slip pocket here. Now, as I said, I don't use this in my uh, Lily Jade Megan, just because I feel it doesn't fit in there as well once it's all packed up but I still get lots of use out of this because I use this to organize my Super B. Um, because the Super B is a little bit bigger, this fits in there a little bit better and just it doesn't create just some of the problems that I find having it in here. So I will say if you buy this bag and you don't like the internal organizer inside of it, hang on to this because I find uses for this all the time in other bags. So guys, that is it for today's Five Ways Wednesday. After this, I'm going to uh, show a side-by-side -side comparison of each of these in terms of height and width so you can see that. So I'm gonna put on a little bit of music, let you watch that part, and then the outro of the video will happen. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you now. Love ya, mean it always, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.